Hey, thanks for tuning in and welcome back to another episode in Crystal's Kitchen. My hope is that you guys are following my recipes because they're fun and they're educational for you and your family. So today I'm gonna do a complete recipe. I'm making um, turkey burgers with sweet potato fries just made straight from the potato. So first things first on uh, this video is I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I prepare my sweet potato chips. We're gonna get those in the oven. We're gonna come back and get the meat ready and form our patties, get the pan fired up. And instead of using traditional buns, we're actually gonna use sprouted sourdough bread today that I'm excited to share that with you guys as well. So thanks again for joining and and we're gonna get started. We're just gonna uh, start with a traditional sweet potato. I've already washed this and I've actually already sliced a few, but I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I do this. I find instead of trying to cut with a knife, I'm just gonna use this mandolin. So what this looks like is just some nice slices there. And you can see how beautiful these slices come out. They're just perfect thinness um, or thickness if you choose and they're awesome using this tool. So over here, again, we've got a couple different sizes of potatoes. I had already gotten some ready. Skins are on, just wanted to point that out once again. And since we are baking these in the oven, we do wanna use some oil. So sometimes I use coconut oil, sometimes I use olive oil, and today I'm gonna to use, this as an organic olive oil. Just like that. And I like to stir it around just to coat them fairly evenly. And what we need to do for sure is we need to preheat our oven. So let's just hop over here before we get everything ready. We're gonna turn this oven on kinda hot, about 400 to bake these chips. So we've got that preheating, and we're gonna come back over to that shortly. A Little bit of salt and pepper. You guys, again, it's to taste, it's up to you. Brings out the flavor of those potatoes. So we're just gonna stir that around a little bit. Now I already have um, a pre-line just with some foil. You can use parchment paper if you want. Lightly sprayed with the um, coconut oil. And we're gonna go ahead and lay the chips on there. Since we have a few different sizes of chips, they are gonna cook a little different. I'm trying to actually spread out some that are close to the same size, so all of them cook pretty evenly. Okay, that looks pretty good. So now we're gonna go ahead and put these in our preheated oven. We're gonna go ahead and set um, a timer. 400 degrees, approximately 18 to 20 minutes. Keep an eye on it and see. You might wanna check it about halfway through. Check and see if you wanna flip your chips um, and just make sure that they're cooking evenly. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get the meat ready. So because we're making turkey burgers today, many times people um, that have eaten turkey burgers in the past say that they're dry and um, they're not sure if they should be using 99% lean or 93% lean. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in our bigger bowl because we're gonna be mixing it with some ingredients. Starting with a couple of the ingredients, we're gonna start with the wet ingredients first. Liquid Bragg aminos is something I often use. Um, it's very similar to a soy sauce. We're also gonna add some Worcestershire sauce. Nice sprinkling of that, just to let that absorb into the meat first. And I am also going to add some prepared horseradish, a little bit more than a teaspoon there. Again, follow along the recipe and adjust accordingly to your liking. So I'm gonna blend these uh, liquid ingredients that we have so far, and there's just a few more ingredients that we're gonna add in. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a bit of Dijon mustard, salt and pepper, if you wanna use fresh garlic, you can. In this recipe, I'm just using a little bit of garlic powder. And one last ingredient, if you like a little heat in your burger, I'm gonna do um, some red pepper chili flakes, just a nice sprinkling of those. We're gonna blend this together. My recommendation is when you get this all blended to let it uh, marinate in the fridge for a minimum of 30 minutes, if you're able to. We're gonna set that aside. We're gonna make sure we get our sweet potatoes in the oven and we're gonna move on to our next step. Sweet potatoes are going in. You guys, we're gonna get ready to form our patties with our meat, but we're first gonna go ahead and get our pan nice and hot so we can get those nice grill marks on these burgers. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, bring our grill pan up to a medium to high temperature. Get that going first. It's already lightly sprayed with our oil, so that's gonna preheat as we're making our patties. And this is about a pound of the ground turkey, so we're just gonna make um, about quarter pound patties here. Okay, you guys, our patty's all made. Got my hands washed, ready to go. And get these guys on the grill pan. Nice little sizzle there. Let's us know our pan is ready for us. 
We're gonna let those cook and we're gonna get our bread ready next. I've used a lot of different breads in the past for um, this purpose, for using them in place of a bun. You know, try and see what works for you. There's a lot of popular ones out there, but this one in particular is a sprouted sourdough. I really love this one. So I've got some already ready to go and I'm gonna get two more out. When you're using breads that have no preservatives, they're gonna go uh, green on your countertop in a matter of uh, two to three days. So you wanna make sure that uh, you're putting those in the fridge. So I'm just putting a light coating of some coconut oil just right on um, the bread slices. I'd like to do both sides, but I'm gonna go ahead and do one side first, um, put them in the pan and I'll flip them and do the other side, just a little splash of it when they're already cooking. Tiny bit of more room temperature Kerrygold butter, one of my favorites. It's really gonna bring out the flavor of the bread. Here, I'm gonna go ahead and put the coconut and the butter side down. And we're gonna let that uh, pan toast that side and we're gonna go ahead and do each um, pieces of bread as everything else is cooked. So I'm just making sure I'm flipping the bread and keeping a close eye on it so I don't burn that bread. Remember, we've already buttered one side, the pan had already been lightly sprayed, so these are gonna toast up really nicely for us. I think these are about ready to flip, so we're gonna go ahead and get these turned over. Look at those beautiful grill marks. Do you guys see those? I can already tell these are gonna be nice and juicy. Those just have a few more minutes, you guys. The recipe, depending on, um, again, what kind of pan you're using and the thickness of the burgers, you know, it could be three to four minutes on one side and an additional three on the other side. So just keep a close eye on those. And check in on our chips one more time. They're not quite ready, they're very close. If you want to flip them, you don't have to, but you can flip them and put them back in for the additional cooking time. Okay, you guys, I flipped these uh, chips over just a little bit, just an additional cooking time. Not a whole lot more there. Burgers are coming uh, really close to being done there, just watching that temperature and checking on our bread over here. My pan's getting a little hot over here, so we're just gonna make that adjustment. We're gonna pull that off there. For your turkey burgers, you guys, you just wanna make sure there's no pink inside. You can go ahead and split it open and peek in. Okay, you guys, it's time to take the burgers off the uh, grill pan here. I'm gonna go ahead and plate those. See the beautiful grill marks and the steam. We're gonna let those rest while our bread finishes up. We're gonna get our last piece of uh, bread out of the pan. We're gonna knock the heat there um, and we're gonna go ahead and pull that bread off of there. Basically, our toasted bread is ready to go. Our burgers are resting here. We're gonna assemble the rest of our um, toppings here. So a little bit of lettuce. This is romaine. I, you can use any lettuce that you like. A couple slices of tomato. We're gonna go ahead and make two of these with cheese but cheese, whether you prefer it or not, you don't have to use it. Oh, there we go, handy timer, we always appreciate that. So timer's going off, we're gonna go ahead and pull those chips out of the oven. Some of the thinner ones you can see, we're, we've got a, we got a few that uh, got a little burnt, but the rest of them look so beautiful. You see how thin they are, and we're just gonna let them cool for just a moment. Okay, you guys, there you watched in the video a complete assembly of these turkey burgers, and I know that you're gonna love them. They're really amazing. So instead of using the traditional bun, we went ahead and toasted some sprouted sourdough bread with a little bit of coconut oil and Kerrygold butter, made the turkey right in front of you. We added cheese. Again, that's optional if you would um, prefer not to use any dairy or cheese. We've got some beautiful uh, romaine lettuce and tomatoes and my favorite pickles. Make sure that you like and comment our videos and let us know what you'd love to see in the future. Thanks again for tuning in to Crystal's Kitchen. Until next time, enjoy.